When most people think of Caltrans, they picture our most publicly visible employees, the maintenance crews on the state highway system in bright orange vests repairing pavement, signs, striping, guardrail, and assisting CHP in incident management. In addition to our maintenance personnel, Caltrans employs thousands of people in a multitude of specialties. That includes engineers, and in celebration of Women in Transportation Month, we spoke with several female engineers on what it's like to work here in Caltrans District 9. I'm Jennifer Schonefeld. I'm an engineer, and I've been here at Caltrans for about a year and a half. And I was in private industry. I worked in aerospace for a number of years, then worked medical technologies. And the nice thing about coming to to civil service is just that your career ladders are all mapped out and it's very, very clear how to move forward. Here at District 9 we also have the opportunity as engineers if we want, we're able to work more outside of the office. Our construction seniors say, hey, would you like to come out? Do you want that experience in the field? And we can say, yeah, we're not always just bound to be in the office. It's basically in a larger district you're kind of put in in one position and once you get really efficient and good at it, well, that's where you end up staying. Versus here, what I'm learning in this district is that um, you kind of can wear many hats, do many things, and you're not cornered into just one certain thing to do. One minute you're working on culverts and the next minute you're designing a new highway or you're adding shoulder or, you know, you're out in construction, you know, and always be ready to learn because you're going to keep learning throughout your entire career. Like I was hired as a resident engineer, which is purely a construction engineer, um, and managing construction projects. But then having the flexibility of weather conditions here, where everything shuts down in winter, you actually get to decide a design. You become a well-rounded engineer, not just a cog in the machine engineer. So and then you get that experience of like how to help people in design, not make expensive mistakes in construction and vice versa. I've worked at Caltrans for five years, which there was a 15 year break in between the first four and the last one. After I had my twins, um, we, my husband and I decided that it would be better if I stayed home and I wasn't intending to stay home for 15 years. <laughs> That's how it turned out. And um, um, when Caltrans started hiring again and my kids were older, um, I really wanted to come back and it was a little intimidating to think like am I still viable? Do, do I still remember all the stuff that I learned 20 years ago? It's um, very competitive right now with Caltrans. There's a lot of people um, wanting to work here. The salaries are very competitive um, and so um, it took you know several times to kind of you know research the job and um, apply and um, competitively interview but just keep doing that and something will fall into your lap. I, I was a software engineer a uh, long time ago and after I came to US I had a chance to gain my degree in uh, MBA and also a uh, civil engineer and the first year you know I got a lot of help from my managers, from these friendly uh, co-workers here, and uh, my daughter enjoyed this small city here, so we decided to try to find a permanent job here. And uh, we are lucky, and a few years later, uh, Caltrans District 9 started to hire, and I got a chance to get, uh, get my current position here, and we decided to stay. I've always worked as a civil engineer throughout my whole career of 20 plus years, and um, I now know after, you know, having so much experience that um, for me as a mother and as a female engineer, public was always a great uh, place to work and um, I felt that I was always given equal opportunity to uh, move forward and um, I was always supported by uh, uh, my supervisors and colleagues, uh, so I definitely recommend public service to all you women engineers. These are just a few of the thousands of women who found fulfilling careers with Caltrans. If you think you'd like to work in the California Department of Transportation, visit the link seen here for a list of current openings. For Caltrans District 9, I'm Christine Nadler.